12.30 at night, everybody is asleep right now in the house, and today we got those crazy drone shots of that owl just in that little home. I didn't even know there was anything in there. I talked to my neighbor and he said, go out at nighttime, the main owl and its babies make this loud screeching noise. I've never heard it before. I guess we're just too far away to hear it. So I just put it out there on Twitter and just asked, is it dangerous? Will barn owls attack you? Our YouTube friend Lamar Wilson says, not at all, just wear a raccoon hat. <laughs> So, this is the closest thing I've got to a raccoon. Um, I hope you're right, Lamar, because uh, I'm totally wearing this out there. <laughs> Changing plans, Lamar. I just typed in, do barn owls attack humans, and they came across a YouTube video of this giant barn owl with these huge claws, <laughs> and it was like, attacking something. It wasn't a human, but it was attacking and it looked pretty scary. But I think I'm gonna go for this um, skateboarding helmet. <laughs> this whole plan is ridiculous. So I feel kind of silly out here with my helmet and my jacket on. You can hear them and they're flying. A couple of them are flying. Oh, did you hear that? I want to wake Lincoln up, but I don't think he would wake up. <laughs> It's pretty late. <laughs> yeah, that guy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you ready to learn about some owl pillots, Lincoln? Yeah. This is the place. All right, here we go. We want to check out your owl back there. This is where we saw the owl, right up in there. Yeah, right up there. So they live there all year round? Yeah, they, they live around here. Those are the owl pellets right there, Lincoln. Oh man, yeah. there's That's a lot of them. Really out, they take and they they eat mice and birds and etc. And then their stomach it goes around and takes all of the hair and the uh, bones and etc. Wads it up into this and then they spit it out. So do you really think we'll find like some bones in there possibly? Yeah, I think you will. Pick it up. They're not. Ew, you picked oh, it up. they're not dirty. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever get violent and come after you or anything when no, you're out they here? they never do. Because when I came by, they were really loud at night. And I was like, oh, I was really scared. I thought it was going to come attack my head. It came flying over. <laughs> <laughs> they call them screech owls because they screech. But as far as when they fly, it's just, this is what you hear. Wow. So you don't mind if we take all of your owl pellets? You're not keeping them for some no. reason? Yuck, get them all, Lincoln. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> all right, owl pellets. This is what Lincoln has. Isn't that a beautiful sight? Oh, I can't wait to dig through that with my bare fingers. Oh, so gross. Don't eat them. Owls will eat other birds, or they will eat mice, or just other rodents, maybe even squirrels. They're pretty big, they're pretty strong. They have these big claws. So they will stealth-like attack at nighttime with their night vision, and they will just scoop up <laughs> a giant um, mouse or whatever. There are some things that they can't digest. The hair, the bones, um, it turns out, as I was reading about this, it turns out some of the rodent feces, their poop, it doesn't digest that, and so that's why they say, don't touch the owl pellets, which we didn't know, because we were over there and our neighbor was touching them, and so Lincoln was like, yeah, and I'm like, go ahead, buddy, touch them, pick them up. Probably not the best idea, we washed his hands a lot. So we got some fancy gloves so that we can handle these things and go through them, because I wanna find some bones. I wanna find like a beak of a bird, or a mouth of a mouse. I think we can find some interesting stuff in there. And so it's really interesting. So what they do, once they get all that stuff in their system, they put it all together and then they basically like regurgitate it and just bleh, throw it up. So basically we have a whole thing of owl throw up right here. And that's what it is. So people that want to study what owls are eating and even falcons have these pellets similar to this. It's nice because they don't have to kill the birds. They can just look through the owl pellets and they can find out exactly what they're eating, what their diet is, and how healthy the birds are just from that. So it comes in handy. It was funny, I read about this. It said, throw these in the microwave for a short amount of time so it kills off any bacteria that's in them. That's funny. Are we gonna do that? No, we're just gonna wear gloves. Which... Okay, so pick one up and just let's just start taking it apart. Ew! No. Look at the skull. Oh! I just totally broke it. Okay, so we are looking at an actual mouth and teeth from maybe a bird or a mouse. Oh, what is that from? It's like, it looks like the owl ate a cat. Yeah. 
Oh, look at this one. There's kind of like the whole mixture. It gives you a good idea of exactly what it looks like inside. Bones everywhere, hair, teeth, just everything that the owl cannot fully digest. In my opinion, I hate bees so much that the wasp nest was more horrifying, but this is just like, it's just gross. Like, this was in an owl's stomach, and this is a dead mouse. That's gross. Yuck. We cut things open so you don't have to. This one we didn't really cut much open, but we just did something so you don't have to for yeah, sure. You don't have to dig I through owl pellets. This again. It's yeah. gross. Thanks to our neighbor for giving us these beautiful things. Now it's time to get rid of them and uh, clean this kitchen before mama comes down and sees what we've been up to. <laughs> I think I'm gonna clean this thing like 10 times tonight, bleach it, Ugh. 